Okay, I have two pounds of mild Italian sausage uh, browning up on the stove right now. And um, as it's browning, I'm just chopping it up with a spatula and I want it to be chopped really fine for this. So while that's browning, I'm gonna take my Hungarian peppers or banana peppers, you can use jalapenos or just regular green peppers, it depends. We love um, hot, but not the heat. We just like the taste of hot, if that makes sense to you. Um, so we prefer these. We can only get them around here um, every once in a while. So when we do, I buy them up. Um, right now I'm gonna take these and rinse them off and cut the tops off and clean them out and then I'm gonna slice them right in half and put them on my baking dish. Now that my um, sausage is almost done, I've, been, I've still been chopping, chopping, chopping. Um, I'm gonna drain out some of this grease. I don't know if you can really see, but there's quite a bit of grease in the bottom. I don't mind having some in there because it's good, it gives it some flavor, but you certainly don't want a ton in there. So I'm gonna drain off as much as I can. All right, I probably got a good half a cup of grease out of there, so I'm glad that that's gone. Um, this is still in um, pretty big chunks. I'm gonna keep chopping and stuff, and it's, it's pretty much done, but it's gonna cook a while longer, so I figured it was time to add the next ingredient. Um, I have two pounds of meat here, so for each pound, you're gonna add one brick of cream cheese. I'm just gonna put it in the pan there, and I'm gonna put the lid on and let it kinda soften for a little bit. Um, in a couple minutes, I'll come back and start mixing it through and um, chopping up the meat some more. Okay, now that I have my cream cheese all mixed in, it is a nice, nice creamy uh, mixture now. It is um, very, very good. Now, you have many choices here. You can either leave it like this and stuff your peppers, which I have everything lined up over there, um, just as this, just the cream cheese and the sausage, or you can add breadcrumbs <clears throat> to this mixture, probably like a half a cup to a cup, um, depending on how, how much you want. I would just start with like a half a cup and gradually increase. Or, we don't do breadcrumbs here, but, um, or you can add sauerkraut. And that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna add some sauerkraut to this and um, mix it up and then I will show you what it looks like and show you the next step. All right, my mixture is now done. I have set the oven at 350. It's preheating right now. It should be done by the time I'm done stuffing my peppers. So whether you just have the cream cheese and sausage or the cream cheese sausage and um, breading or the cream, sea, cream cheese sausage and sauerkraut, um, you can go ahead and stuff. You could also actually do the breadcrumbs and the sauerkraut. If you are gonna do that, I wouldn't, um, I would drain the sauerkraut, but I wouldn't squeeze it. Um, with this, I used the entire jar of sauerkraut and I put that in a strainer and I also squeezed it so that it would get rid of its um, moisture because there, there is still going to be moisture coming off of the peppers and stuff while it's cooking. So now I am going to just take spoonfuls whoops, of the mixture and taking it over here and putting it in my peppers and smoothing it out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all these peppers and then I'll be back. All right, I have all my peppers stuffed. Some of them are stuffed pretty full and you know, easing out on the sides and stuff, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take some cheese here. I had some mozzarella and some Colby and Monterey Jack, whatever was left I just mixed in this bowl and I'm just gonna um, sprinkle kind of, but I'm just gonna like dab it on top here so that it sticks a little bit to it. I'm just gonna do that to um, all the peppers just for a little more um, cheese on top. And then I'm going to pop these in the oven. All right, here is the final look before they go in the oven. All right, I just pulled these out of the oven and they are a nice golden brown. They were in for about 45 minutes and we are going to enjoy them now. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Bye guys.